So ever since news broke that Silver Surfer was now going to be a female in the MCU, people have been very quick to call out Bob Iger for his recent claims that Disney had no agenda, yet still was writing out and pretty much firing male heroes from the MCU. You liar! So of course people have been saying that what he said was completely hypocritical, if not just a downright lie, and that clearly Disney does have some some kind of an agenda against male heroes. So personally, I've gone and compiled a list of articles that I wanted to use to try and break down this coined Disney agenda and also reveal just how easy it would have been for Disney and Marvel to have both great male and female heroes at the same time and achieve true equality and true diversity, but instead they chose to just completely obliterate perhaps the greatest storytelling company of all time. So the first article that we have to look at here is the civil rights complaint that Disney received for discriminating against white men and hiring based off race and gender. So the simple fact that this complaint was ever lodged is honestly just insane because there really should be no reason that you'd have to ignore men in order to prop up women and in order to achieve better female heroes in your franchise when you can just so easily have both great men and great women. Because take Marvel, for example. If they just took a few of the strongest and well-liked male heroes and a few of the most well-liked female heroes as well, you would have created a diverse yet well-received franchise that everyone would be excited for. Because yes, big characters like Iron Man and Captain America and Black Widow are gone, but there's still plenty of other options that you have there, and if they chose to build an MCU around characters like Spider-Man, introduce Sue Storm, while also continue Doctor Strange's story, Nebula's story, Gamora's story, and also gave Falcon a good project, then people would have been very excited because everyone likes those characters. Yet what they went and did was introduce characters like Echo that nobody even cared about and no one wanted to watch on the big screen. Then you also get a character like She-Hulk that many people say the comics were amazing, but they just completely destroyed her and changed her character when they wrote the show. She-Hulk, for example, was a great comic book. It was reverent. It had, it broke the fourth wall. This is one of my favorite female Marvel characters, and they destroyed her because they don't know what they're doing. So the problem here comes down to two things. One is the simple fact that they chose characters that weren't marketable, that people didn't care to see on the big screen, and two, the execution of these stories were terrible as well. So really, I just don't see why in this day and age you would discriminate against anyone based off gender, race, or anything to do with someone's background why not just give us great characters from all walks of life that were already there in the comics, ready for you to adapt them? It just didn't make sense, and Disney played this completely wrong, and that's why they're in the position they are right now. It's got nothing to do with some kind of a bigotry by the fans. This all comes down to Disney's problem, and now they're getting slapped with civil rights complaints over discriminating against white men which is just downright insane. And then of course there are the many articles about the gender swapping that Disney has been doing and this is probably the most pointless exercise that Disney has done to any of their films or shows because when there are so many great female heroes from the comics to choose from that everyone already knows I just don't see why you would need to change a male hero into a female hero and also completely change the characteristics of that person. When you can just go look at the statistics, see the many female MCU heroes that sell in the comic industry and just bring them onto the big screen. Because guess what? It's the same core fan base that are buying Marvel comics that are watching Marvel movies and shows. So if you go and take a male character that everyone already knows, has read the comics, has watched them on the big screen, and then you 
you change them into a female, of course fans aren't going to like that, because they're just going to say, why didn't you just bring a female character from the comics and put her on the big screen? Why did you change one of my favourite characters into someone that I'm just not going to like now, because it's a completely different human being? Because the reality is that we don't like characters because of their gender or race, we like characters because of their personality and their characteristics. No one likes Iron Man just because he's a man, you like him because of his quick-witted humour, you like him because of the person that he is. And so by nature, if you take a male hero and change it into a female hero, you're now changing the characteristics as well, because this is a completely new character. And so you're taking a well-liked hero like Silver Surfer that people already know, people already understand who that character is, what their characteristics are, and now you're going to completely change that so people aren't going to like it. And the truth of the matter is that you're angering both female and male fans because these are the people that are buying the comics, these are the people that are watching the movies and the shows, and they like those characters. So a female Marvel fan is going to be just as angry as a male Marvel fan if you take a character that they already know and completely destroy them. And so it's these decisions that make it seem like an agenda by Disney because because as we can see here, diversity can be achieved in a way that enhances stories in film and not takes away from it the way that Disney has been doing. Because as I've said in many videos before, there are plenty examples of other studios having diverse movies that people like, achieve well at the box office, and also get good reviews, because right now it's really just Disney that's been struggling this badly. Because yes, Sony had Madam Web, and that was an all-out disaster, but Sony also have Across the Spider-Verse, which uses the New York Black American perspective and culture to enhance the story and create a character that people enjoy. And guess what? They didn't race swap Peter Parker, they went back to the comics, took Miles Morales, who isn't Peter Parker, it's his own character that people already knew, people already liked, and they brought him onto the big screen, and most importantly, executed his story to a very high standard, made an amazing movie that people loved, and that's why it was successful. So really, it only takes a few examples to prove that fans aren't bigoted, they're not going to hate a movie because it's a black character, or an Asian character, or a female character, they're only going to hate the movie if you disrespect them, and if the movie just sucks. So Disney, learn from that. Learn that it's not about trying to race swap characters or gender swap characters or stop casting white male actors. It's just about giving each character a good movie. So go and get some great female characters. Go and get some great male characters. Get some great black characters. That's all fine. Just give them all great movies and everyone will be happy. But what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.